coverage you can count on. You're watching WTBM News Leader 9, Midday. Sponsored by Montlick & Associates, Columbus Injury Attorneys. It's Thursday, come on in. We have another really informative and entertaining show for you today. Live on set today, it is J.J. Myers from Columbus to Hollywood. His role in Wakanda Forever, Black Mafia Family, and Black Lightning. But first, before we get to J.J., you know, with the numbers expected to skyrocket in Georgia this year, we are already starting to see and pre being prepared for what's coming with the flu. Joining us this afternoon is Dr. Tom Fawcett. He's chapter board chair of the Georgia Academy of Family Physicians. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Now, as I understand it, we, uh, medical professionals, uh, you watch what is happening in Australia each year, and that gives you an idea of what to expect here. And it doesn't look good, I understand. Yes, that's right. You know, in Australia, they recently experienced really the worst flu season they've had in probably four or five years. And really many anticipate uh, this flu season to follow that as it, as it frequently does when we monitor that that's going on uh, in Australia and other places in the Southern Hemisphere. Wow, I would imagine that uh, uh, that there are people who are getting sick, but how many people do you think are going to actually suffer? I was reading the numbers, people will die from the flu. You know, absolutely, the flu kills really hundreds to thousands of people every year. So we think though that this may be a bad year. The virus that seems to be moving around is a particularly uh, virulent uh, strain. Uh, H3N2 is influenza A that seems to be predominant in Georgia right now. So we really are experiencing and probably will experience a fairly dangerous flu season this year. How is this making you feel? Do you think hospitals, emergency rooms, doctors, are you ready for possibly a resurgence of COVID and then the flu being bad? What's gonna happen? Right, right. And I think that that's a concern because we don't know what COVID-19 will do again uh, with the resurgence. We expect it to uh, come back uh, as numbers are low right now, but uh, certainly with wintertime, that is uh, a really unpredictable. We think it'll come back. And then again, as we see flu numbers rise, which they already have been uh, in Georgia, uh, we expect to see uh quite a severe year i think though that uh, hospitals are uh, and doctors offices and healthcare facilities everywhere really are are more prepared than before mm -hmm. covid 19. we've learned a lot of things uh since uh the, in the past two and a half years so hopefully we're ready for uh this more severe flu season as well this year mm -hmm. Well, that's good to hear. Now, what are the steps that we need to be taking? And let me inter interject this too, for those who, you are, who are watching and you're wondering, I did get a flu shot and the COVID booster at the same time, I was fine. So there are people wondering, should I, I, should I do that? Well, nothing, no. it, it, was, it just went well with me. But what are the steps that people in general, besides taking the flu shot, what should we be doing to try to avoid it if it's possible? Right, and I think we have to go back to some of the basic things that we've always done, particularly things that we've been more apt to do uh, in the past two and a half years. Certainly, if we're going to crowded places, uh, you know, taking basic precautions, particularly when we're feeling ill, it may be better just to stay home mm -hmm. if we're not sure what's going on, because certainly flu symptoms, although they can be very severe, are not so severe in other uh, individuals. And that is a very uh, dangerous position for us to be in, particularly in at parties, a lot of things going on during the holidays uh, where there are a lot of people are gathering. So I think it's just some basic things such as hand washing, uh, using masks when necessary, certainly, uh, and socially distancing, particularly again, when symptoms are present, either with you or your family or in your close community. Okay, and, and lastly, Dr. Fawcett, once you have the flu, your doctor has told you that's, that's what it is. What's generally going to happen then? How, how are we being cared for? Right, so certainly some of the basic things are usually being done or, and will be done this year, uh, just like in years past with the flu. Certainly we have some antiviral uh, medications mm -hmm. that can be used for the flu that can be prescribed by your physician or provider. Uh, but also staying at home, 
hydrating very well, okay. eating and drinking, uh, taking medications for symptoms such as fever and cough. Those are the main things that are going to happen when when you're diagnosed with the flu this year. And get some rest. Well, thank you so much Absolutely. for being with us, Dr. Fawcett. When we come back live in the studio today, it is J.J. Myers from Columbus all the way to Hollywood. <laughs> this is him. He's in the new Black Panther movie, Wakanda Forever. Say, come on in. All right. Okay. And this is uh, our camera here. Uh, this is your camera. You Copy. will sit here and your feet, if you point your feet that way, that's your camera. Copy. Okay. You should uh, count to 20 in your best voice. Okay. So One, even though two. it looks like you're not looking at me, you look in there. Copy. Yeah, and on the air, you, it'll look like you're looking at me. Okay. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, it's in the 17, center. 18, it's on 19, the shirt in the 20. Yeah. Try this right here. Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me uh, check your box. Yeah, go ahead and talk for me. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay. 9, yeah, 10. Yeah, much better. Much better. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah right there. you got to build the mood. <laughs> if I cut up JJ, just, just take over, just take <laughs> over, <laughs> okay? <laughs> then just come drag me out of here. <laughs> can you hear that music? Yes, I can. Yeah. I didn't hear it. Uh-uh, -uh, but that's okay, as long as JJ hears it. <laughs> I know what we're doing. Yeah, my eyes beat Okay, I hear you. Now from your Storm Team 9 Alert Center, WTBM meteorologist Tyler Allender. Record lows this morning in Columbus officially hit 33 degrees, but we're in the 50s now on our way to the mid 60s. We'll have mostly sunny skies, just a few high clouds. Now tonight into tomorrow morning, still pretty cold, maybe not quite as cold. We'll have 30s and even some low 40s. A few of the colder locations will still have some patchy frost, so be mindful of that. But we go back to fall. That's the next big thing, and that means some warmer temperatures coming our way. We'll be in the 70s. I think tomorrow afternoon, well into the 70s, approaching 80 as we go throughout the weekend. D. 
Thanks, Tyler. Now, if you did not see Black Panther, you actually missed one of the most well acted, directed, technically superior movies with a superb storyline. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. And in the movie, one of the warriors is J.J. Myers. He is here live in the studio today. Come on down, J.J. <laughs> How are you? Doing well. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie, that is one of the scenes that is just everlasting. Now, I'll tell you what, the movie is the follow-up. Yes. Wakanda forever is going to be in the studios November the 11th. Take a look. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for being with us. Drove all the way down from Atlanta. Yes, I did. How does it feel being in one of the most iconic movies? I looked it up. It's one of the most highly awarded films ever. Uh, Academy Awards for Best Music, Best Production Design, Best Costume Design. Uh, Michael B. Jordan wins MTV Movie and TV Award for Best Villain, <laughs> you know? And uh, uh, Chadwick Boseman. Uh, he won an award too. And also, there was an award for the team that actually did the fighting. And yes. JJ is one of them. Oh, wow. <laughs> Absolutely. How does it feel being part of that team? Oh, it feels amazing uh, just being part of history, um, to say the least. Uh -huh. It's one of the things that when I got the award in the mail, it, uh. it definitely... Oh, it comes in the mail? <laughs> it, it comes in the mail. Oh. And it, it definitely took me aback uh, just to see the acknowledgement that the stunt department had put in. It was a film that we spent weeks and weeks of rehearsal leading uh -huh. up to the actual um, filming of the, the film on location. So. Well, how did you get that first role? Because, you know, I knew you, I knew him as a little, little skinny little boy down in the country <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at church with his mom and dad. Then he's on the, the, the <laughs> on the big screen doing uh, the, the Black Panther movie. How did, did you know you wanted to be a stuntman? And how did that happen? So I, I didn't know that I wanted to be a stuntman uh, originally. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I knew I wanted to be an actor and just life prepared me for everything in general. Take, a, take another look. Okay. Take a look at him in that fighting scene. This movie brings tears to your eyes because it's about pride, it's about love, it's yeah. about family. Wow, when you see that, what do you see? I see just the beginning of a wonderful career in this industry, just uh, the start of everything for me, uh -huh. honestly, you know? Wow. So you go on set and you say, uh, I can do stunts. Who told you you could do stunts? <laughs> <laughs> I have an older brother who definitely uh, uh -huh. got me used to uh, <laughs> the physicality of it, to say the least. Um, I did have some martial arts uh, experience as well. And my martial arts experience definitely helped me prepare and land the uh -huh. role. Um, during that time in college, I was going back and forth to Atlanta uh -huh. and I was trying to break into the uh, acting industry. I saw Captain America Civil War and uh -oh. <laughs> I knew that, uh, I'm sorry, Winter uh -huh. Soldier. Okay. At the time. But uh, I knew that I wanted to be in Marvel movies from that moment. I knew that that was the, the film. So how many people are in line? You're going to show up. Okay. Yeah, I'm JJ. I'm like JJ Myers. I'm going to show up. Were they like yeah. 10,000 people? It was an open casting uh -huh. call. So um, me and my family, we got there very early. Mom went? Yeah, mom went. Brother there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my, my wife now, she was there. Uh -huh. um, all of us went down. They had us fill out this paperwork. They said, we're looking for people with uh, martial arts experience. If you have any martial arts uh -huh. experience, let us know. Go to the so, left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that that was my first cue of uh -huh. um, just being separated from the crowd, uh -huh. of uh, acknowledging my martial arts experience and putting that on the resume. The next part came uh -huh. when 
they invited me out to audition and I had to audition in front of all the stunt coordinators, all of the big players there. They taught us eight beats of choreography and had us run through it and perform it for them on the day within minutes of. of were you shaking it. in your boots or were oh, you like ready? Yeah, yeah it, the, the nervous jitters kind of, they, they build into the excitement uh -huh. and um, I would say the energy of the performance. So. Your dad was a pastor, mom's a teacher, yeah. very popular teacher in Muskogee County. Uh, what did they say uh, when you <laughs> told them, I want to be a star. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my mother originally, uh, she she was looking out for my best interest. She knew how smart I was and um, she wanted the academics to lead forward. Uh -huh. So she said, why don't you focus on a career that you know uh, is, is stable and use that to fund uh, what it is that you want to do. Uh -huh. So use your day job to kind of fund, you know, the side things until they take off. And, uh, is that I, what you did? Oh yeah, I used uh, that principle. I, uh -huh. I used Bureau of Reclamation money, thank you guys out there in Colorado, <laughs> uh, to buy all kind of equipment for music production and acting stuff, buying cameras and stuff. Uh -huh. And eventually I was able to do the same thing with stunts. So. Wow, and I have a picture with you with uh, Michael B. Jordan and uh, Chadwick Boseman. Uh, wow, no that, okay, the, the third guy. Who's yes, the, that's the director, Ryan Coogler. That's the director and then yes. that's Chadwick and, and that's, that's Chad. you. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, how did you feel? Because they're like uh, legends in their own time. Oh, absolutely. It, it felt like I was surrounded by just greatness, honestly. And being in that room um, definitely just changed my mindset of uh, really making that belief definitive. Wow. You know, uh, we all have a dream. We all believe that we can do something. And when you're finally in the room with these people, um, that's the thing that starts to solidify that it's like, no, this is very This real. is real. And yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. doing it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and you deserve to be here that, you know, you've worked for it. So. Wow. We'll be back with J.J. Myers from Columbus to Hollywood <laughs> after the break. <laughs> in the future okay we yeah, go yeah. to uh, how about you step to the side till you're ready to order I should step aside yeah all right you just okay so uh, it's in the, want the back oh pocket my gosh, it's, my it's a tight spot man i ain't trying to violate you too much man <laughs> <laughs> i appreciate you i appreciate it you know some people just dig in there and just <laughs> i ain't gonna lie to you <laughs> Okay. There we go. That should be a little better. We'll just close that. Put it in the day. All right. So Appreciate it, man. So when did you start rehearsing for speaking roles? Um, it's a combination. Okay. Right, right, on camera. I didn't hear you, yeah. Okay.
We're back with J.J. Myers from Columbus, part of the award-winning stunt team in Black Panther and now Wakanda forever. <laughs> wow. You know, your mother let me know that uh, you've been in some other roles too. You didn't yeah. tell me, <laughs> okay? It's been years since I, I seen them. Yeah. I did not know. Let's take a look at this scene in Black Mafia. Oh, you did a good job. Take a look. How about you step to the side till you're ready to order? Should I step aside? Yeah. All right. You just step. Y'all might want to head to Mickey D's for a happy meal or something. Come on, Amanda. Please, please. I, I just took over a week ago. You from E-Course, Jeremy? No, just, just, just take whatever you want. Here. Oh, oh, Jeremy, no. You, you want some pop? L listen, Jeremy, look, I'm, I'm going to change man. All right. But I'm gonna tell you what, though. When you see Duke, you tell him that the Moss Silas is back in town. And the next time I'm back in here, I expect things to go back to the way they were. You understand? Okay, okay. <laughs> I felt bad for you, man. Oh, yeah. People <laughs> ask me if that still the, hurts to uh -huh. this day. <laughs> <laughs> so is that part of the... Uh, th that was not your head, that sound, was no. it? Oh, okay, no. Thank you. No, 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 <laughs> okay. no, no. So that's what being a good stunt person looks like. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. <laughs> a lot of people ask me about that uh -huh. reaction and if it hurt, if you really slammed me. You know, I'm taking it just to the elbow. It's uh -huh. kind of like a little dab. But, oh, wow. Uh, but, so yeah. Where did you learn to act? Um... <sighs> theater, the church, uh -huh. honestly. Uh, I am a church boy born and Your raised. Your mama was always doing something. <laughs> yeah, ab absolutely. So uh -huh. uh, Sunday Easter speeches, uh, line memorization <laughs> yes. on the car, car oh, ride gosh. from Columbus to Opelika. You better, you better have that Easter speech. Oh, Easter. yeah. <laughs> Part ready yeah, to go. yeah, yeah, yeah. You better not miss a word. Uh -huh. All of these words are in the Bible, so if you misquote, you're blasphemous. <laughs> so, yes, yes. Oh, so wow. yeah, that that really helped uh, uh -huh. build my memorization skills and uh -huh. my performance skills. Um, getting comfortable in front of a large crowd. Uh -huh. I did plenty of church plays and school plays as well, uh -huh. and um, yeah, all of that kind of led to. Um, did you tell your mama thank you for making me do all that stuff? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I have to thank the whole family because each one of them contributed in different Something. ways. Yeah. Well, well, let's take another uh, look. Here's another scene from another uh, movie, uh, Black Lightning, uh, and it appeared on NBC. Take a look. Someone's in the apartment. Oh, my gosh. It's my ex. He must have found them. That literally was art imitating life. Uh, think of the story. It was in the news. Police break into an apartment. The people inside think it's an intruder. Police think it's an armed suspect. They open fire. And that was loosely based on... Yeah, Breonna Taylor's situation. The Breonna Taylor situation. Yeah. Oh, that, my gosh. That was a heavy piece of material for me. And um, mm -hmm. that was the first uh, speaking role that I got on the show. And, um, well, just period. And when I got the audition and I read the sides, I started to piece together that um, that's what this story was really about, that that was the story that mm -hmm. we're telling here. And um, yeah, I did a bunch of research on the, the scene. I went back and I watched interviews and, and clips of the boyfriend talking in order to prepare for that role because I really wanted to take it serious and, and to make that, wow. yeah mean something it, 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 it was done very well very well now where do you see yourself going how long do you want to stay in the industry oh wow I want to go as far as I can go mm. uh, honestly I, I see myself really uh, I want to be one of the best in the business so uh -huh. it, it takes a lot of work it's a slow process it's a it's a grind but um yeah yeah we're working our way up to the top and constantly getting better you know, there are a lot of folks like me in Columbus with thespians at heart. <laughs> we'll never be there, but the hard work you're talking about is what? Is, is uh, rehearsal, is practice? What is, what is the work? So the work, honestly, is 
understanding two aspects of it. You have the, the performance aspect, but then you also have the business. Mm -hmm. And until you understand the business, uh, you may not get the opportunity to showcase how well you can perform. Mm. So um, right now, it's a lot of the technical things and learning what goes on behind the camera, what casting directors are looking for, what talent agents are looking for. Before um, you get there. Yeah, before you get there. Uh -huh. That way that when your audition comes across them. You're giving them what they want. Uh -huh. It's undeniable, uh -huh. you know. So um, that's that's the thing, realizing how the pieces move behind the industry so that you can better prepare yourself. Okay, before we go, California is trying to grab back what Georgia is doing. They don't like Georgia and Atlanta being the new Hollywood. Do you think we're going to be able to keep it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that um, because it's a growing market and you have people moving from New York and L.A. every mm -hmm. day to Atlanta, they see the potential here in the southeast. And I think that we'll have a good rain on top for a while. You know what I gotta say? Wakanda forever. <laughs> okay, Absolutely. thank you so much for being with us, JJ. He it's a came pleasure. all the way down from Atlanta. Now, coming up tomorrow on midday, the system puts labels on kids and doesn't expect anything from some people. But this guy, Antonio, he went from homeless to a 4.0, and he's gonna be here to tell you how he did it. That's tomorrow.